Welcome everyone here at 2K. Thanks for joining us. We've got a Wednesday afternoon edition of the NBA for you. And in our matchup tonight, we'll see the Milwaukee Bucks going up against the Indiana Pacers at Cambridge Fieldhouse. With Grant Hill and Clark Kellogg, I'm Brian Ant. Now let's take a look at the Bucks' opening lineup. Giannis and Lopez together down low. Filling out the wings, it's Beasley and Middleton. And it's Lillard in at the point guard position. And for Indiana, Toppin at the four and Turner at the five. Halliburton at the one with Brown at the two. And it's Heal in at the three slot. Well, Grant, this is the type of game that may look lopsided. But as we've seen, anything can happen. Anything can definitely happen, B.A. And look, you have to understand that every guy in this league is talented. If you come in flat and those other guys are inspired, you can fall. But honestly, you shouldn't. It's all about handling your business. Now here's Lillard. 4-3. Hauled in by Brown. And this is exactly who you want taking that shot. You just missed it. And a slam dunk by Toppin. And their offensive rebounding is such a strength for them when he's on the floor. Yeah, he really helps them extend possessions, doesn't he? And you know, those second chance opportunities can be game changers. He represents so much value to this team because of what he does. Shots good by Kumpo. Look, we know Giannis can get it done inside. Defense will have to try much harder to stop him in there. You know, Grant, looking at the Milwaukee Bucks, they play in a sports crazed state in Wisconsin. Oh, Wisconsin definitely loves their football, but Milwaukee also goes hard for their Bucks, which is a big reason for their recent success, B.A. And that one's good. Exceptional skills for Turner down in the paint. This guy, I think, has the potential to be a dominant player inside for a lot of years. Middleton against Teal. Middleton passes to Lillard. Let's it fly. The rebound by Turner. Boy, he's got to be kicking himself for failing to make that shot. That's money. Pass to Heal. And around two minutes played here in the first quarter. Top it against Tana de Kumpo. Six to shoot. Here's Turner. The shot, no good. Good work defensively by Lopez. Here's Beasley. Excellent D there from Toppin. Oh, gritty defense. Protecting the rim at all costs against a guy who has all sorts of ways to finish. <laughs> Just terrible defense. I don't know how he missed that shot. Here's Beasley. Yes, great play by Lillard to set it up. Lillard's passing game, a thing of beauty. Got that ball to a guy who had a quality look and got it to him on time. Indiana again missing. For Milwaukee, they've gone two for five here in the first. And on Kumpo, here we go. The shot is good, and this game is back to even. Just taking it right to the rim, and no one was there to greet him. Well, this early, they should be showing a lot more energy on defense. It's not there. Brown passes to Heald. Over to the left wing. And here's Turner from the arc. Rebounded by the Bucks, And able to impact the game at both ends is Miles Turner-Clark. You know, I like the fact that he's dangerous on offense, but more importantly, he's led the league multiple seasons in block shots. And he does not take time off at the defensive end of the floor. Time called here. The Pacers decide to talk it over. Failing to find a rhythm offensively. Something that needs to change and change soon. And I think this timeout, guys, is where you draw up some plays that are guaranteed to create some high percentage shots. A new lineup here for Indiana. And a new group getting ready for the Bucks. Portis, he's checked in for Lopez. Connaughton comes in for Middleton. Bochamp, he's checked in for Beasley. And Payne is subbed in for Lillard. Outside Matherin. Indiana needs to get a shot off. A shot from the high post. That one no good. You know, you'd like to see a little more effort there defensively, but maybe they wanted him to take that shot, baited him into it. McConnell against Payne. Can't cash it in from close range. 
A perfect example of how to protect the rim. And you know, guys, I love his fight and grit on the interior. I mean, he never lets a shot go uncontested. Kumpo with the block. Oh, he picked him clean. To the paint. Here's McConnell. Ooh, good finish at the rack off the slick feed. Just owning the painted area. If it's working, no need to change. Here's Adana Kumpo. And the layup falls. Adana Kumpo has got eight. Could have been called a foul, but Giannis stayed locked in and focused. McConnell against Payne. There's 21 seconds left in the first quarter. Here's Nimhart. And that one's long. Honor to Kumpo up top. Give him eight. With four on the clock. And that's two points on the layup. Ten points for him. Boy, the added work in the weight room for Giannis coming into play there. I mean, you got to send an army to try to stop this guy. Giannis Antetokounmpo has been on display for Milwaukee. He put together ten points in the quarter. We're coming right back. Don't go anywhere. For those of you just tuning in, second quarter action is where we are. And let's quickly break down the game we've seen from the Bucks, Guys? It's simple. The main takeaway from the first quarter is they're winning this game with defense. Yeah, I agree. I mean, you look at the energy, the effort defensively. They put it all out there in that opening quarter. So on the floor for Milwaukee, that small and power forward, it'll be Middleton and Giannis. Damian Lillard out there with Pat Connaughton. And it's Lopez in at the center position. Even though his game is more perimeter-oriented now, Lopez can still mix it up inside. Top and left side. Can't get it to drop. Good D by Anadokounmpo. Milwaukee in the lead. Well, Grant, the Pacers made no secret about their focus on improving defensively. Yeah, B.A., I mean, that's how they'll take the next step. They rank near the bottom in a lot of defensive categories, and that has to change, and of course, they know it. Lillard against Taliburton. Pass to Turner. Down low is Matherin. And he takes it in for the layup off a very nice feed. And Matherin is an impressive score. Skilled at finding ways to convert around the rim. Connaughton. Good. And it's Lillard who picks up the assist. Sears making a switch here. Heald's checked in. And Milwaukee with a change here too. Beasley's checked in. And Halliburton has got the ball here for Indiana. Trailing by eight. Pass to Brown. Turner with it. Indiana again missing. And unlike some other guys, missing a wide open look won't hurt his confidence at all. Middleton passes to Lopez. And it's good for two. Well, the saying is defense wins championships. But in this day and age, don't you need both? No question, B.A., you definitely do. I mean, we've seen plenty of great defenses flame out in the playoffs because they couldn't put up points. Defense alone isn't enough. You need a balance of both. Halliburton, such a special player, and his rush hour handles round out his game. Honor to Kumpo, the pass to Lillard. Back to Honor to Kumpo. The jam. How about the flash by Anta Tacumpo? I mean, just an insanely talented athlete who loves to punish that rim. Who poked away and stolen by Anta Tacumpo. And we're now a little over two and a half minutes into the second. Up top, Beasley. Ooh, excellent D there from Turner. 
Despite the miss, those are the kind of looks coaches hope to create. And when it comes to Giannis Antetokounmpo, such a lovable player on and off the floor, Clark. Yeah, he really is. I mean, he's just such a carefree, gregarious, outgoing personality. Somebody that doesn't take himself too seriously. And he likes to tell his fair share of dad jokes, too, which is pretty endearing. All right, let's get a report from Ali. Well, Benedict Matherin talked about his motivation. He said, quote, a lot of people play a sport because they have talent, but I play for a different reason. I want to be one of the greatest players ever, and I want to take care of my family. I made that promise to myself when I was very young, and I have no choice but to be great. That's the way it is. PA? All right, Allie, thank you. Good reporting there. He's got a nice feel for the crossover, but you still have to finish it off. Brown, no good. For Milwaukee, they've gotten six of ten shots to drop in the second. Nice work. Beasley, the pass to Anadokounmpo. Out to Beasley. Rebounded by Heald. For Indiana, they've gone three for seven here in the second quarter. Outside, Brown. Pass to Halliburton. And count the basket. He was fouled, and he's going to the line for one more. Defensive foul. Brooke Lopez. First personal foul. You know, Clark, what you marvel about with Halliburton the accuracy from both the field and the line. Well, there are very few guys that are part of the 50-40-90 club, and every year he's flirting with that. And when he doesn't have the shot that he wants, what I like is that he just simply makes the right basketball pass. Throw good. Halliburton. And when you watch Halliburton run point, he makes life easy for his team. You know, he's like a Pied Piper. He's a guy that other people gravitate to and enjoy playing with. Always has his head up. He's excellent at reading angles and situations and using the right pass at the right time and rarely seems to four shots. I mean, that's the quintessential playmaking point guard if ever there was one. Pass to Matherin. We've got 22 seconds left in the second quarter. Shot clock at six. Here's Halliburton. And that one off the back of the rim and in. Halliburton's got nine points. As fast as lightning, Halliburton gets it and shoots it in a matter of nanoseconds. Let's it go. They get it back. Here's Portis. That one drops for him. Portis has gotten four this quarter. You've got to be aware of him at all times. He's a bully on the backboard. And so that's the end of the first half. Bucks ahead, up by nine. And don't go away. After the break, we'll see you right back here for the start of quarter number three. And if you just join it in, one half is in the books. One half to go. It's been a clinic out there by Giannis Antetokounmpo. Through the first two quarters, he's been on fire. Explosive offensive performance. And you know what? I'll be interested to see just how much he's got left in the tank. That first half had to take a lot out of him. Halliburton at the one with Brown at the two, Toppin at the four, and Turner at the five. And it's Heel in at the small forward position. So that's the group out there for Indiana. Halliburton, the pass to Turner. Halliburton looking for an opening. Healed on the wing. Pass to Turner. Halliburton outside. Takes a three. Oh, you got to guard Halliburton from there. Halliburton's future is bright, and that's got so many folks excited because he can really play and fill it up. Well, Grant, how do the Bucks put the pieces back together and make a run at another title? Well, the hope is this new coaching staff will unlock some new wrinkles and find ways to keep their offense from stalling in the clutch. A little over a minute gone here in the second half. Inside. Oh, got a piece of it. And they're on the break. Here's Antetokounmpo. And Antetokounmpo with the stuff. It is simply amazing to watch Antetokounmpo sprint the floor like an Olympic track star. 
covering up so much ground with those long strides the way he does. Mm, mm, mm. Heel against Middleton. Heel passes to Toppin. Outside, Brown. Shoots over Beasley. Brown can't hit. And so it's Ana Kumpo with it. He brings it up for the Milwaukee Bucks. Since the second half started, they've only given up three points. Lillard outside. Fires for three. Such a sweet stroke from Damian Lillard. And then Kumpo. Nice pass there. Good at finding his open teammates. Halliburton, the pass to Turner. Halliburton outside. And they come right back with their own three-pointer. Halliburton's got six points in the quarter. <laughs> That's how you up the ante. Come right back at him. A little back and forth from long range. I love it. That's a terrific answer there. Brown inside. He's guarded by Beasley. And Brown, the bucket on the assist by Heal. Good decision-making by Heal. Giving it up on against Payne. And now we're three minutes into this third quarter of play. Here's Connaughton. Pacers with a rebound. They still have time to make this a game. But they really need to focus in because they let this game get away from them a little bit. And I'll tell you, Matherin's passing game has a solid foundation. Now hopefully it continues to grow here. to Connaughton and he makes no mistake slam dunk and one move ahead of the defense a solid pick and then the monster dunk to complete the play well done boy picture perfect teamwork that time guys one guy sacrificing for the other that's how you succeed in this league One eleven left in the third quarter. Can't connect from short range. Indiana has gone two of three from outside so far in the third quarter. And let's send it over to Allie LaForce. Indiana's a team on the rise. Coach Rick Carlisle said this is a new era of Pacers basketball. A direction of youth and of going all in on a group of guys that are young, talented, and extremely high character and tremendous upside. Brian, a lot to be excited about. No question. Absolutely. Thanks, Allie. The shot by Payne, no good. Two for one opportunity if they can time it right. Great way to end the quarter. And it's Matherin missing. Showing great intensity around the rim is part of why he's a respected defender. And you know what? He's not going to give up an easy finish at the rim. I mean, that's just uh, against his constitution. Pass to Portis. Clock at six. And play stops. A whistle there on what looks like an illegal screen. Well, the league has put an emphasis to crack down on illegal screens. Yeah, you know, he might have gotten away with that a few years ago, but not anymore. No way. Now you've got to be stationary on those screens. No extra hips or elbows, or they'll call it. Indiana trailing here. If they take their time, this will be the final possession of the quarter. Yeah, they've got to hold for the last shot here. On the wing, Matherin. And you can count it. He'll go to the line with a chance at a three-point play. And just a tremendous ability to finish. No backing down at all from Matherin. First team foul. First team foul. At the line. For the Pacers. Matherin. One shot. Matherin, no good on the free throw. And one thing Benedict Matherin has no shortage of is raw athleticism. Now it's just a question of him owning that physical ability to be an effective pro-level player. And so it's the Milwaukee Bucks with a six-point lead at the close of the quarter. And it's mostly due to their superb shooting. They've wasted very few possessions. Time for a quick break, then back to the action.
Man, I know I speak for all of us when I say I can't wait to see what kind of finish awaits us here in the fourth quarter. So on the floor for Milwaukee, Giannis and Portis work together inside. Then it's Chris Middleton. Then there's Damian Lillard. And it's Bochamp in at the two. And here's Middleton. He'll bring it up for the Bucks. The biggest lead of the game, 15 points. A oh, nice shot by Lillard. How about the court vision of Middleton? Just so good at finding the open man. Healed against Middleton. Outside, Brown. Here's Turner. And there's two. Work on the glass, paying off that time. Boy, dominant play by Turner there. Used his force and physicality to get that rebound in the bucket. Lillard against Halliburton. Oh, Lillard shrugs off the contact. That's simply a gimme for a player of his caliber. I mean, the defense cannot allow that. Time, out, time called out. here. Toppin, he's checked in for Smith. Beasley's checked in for Milwaukee. Let's check in with our reporter, Allie LaForce. Well, over the break, I listened in on Rick Carlisle's huddle. He told his players, we are right there, guys. This game is ours. Continue to work hard, and we will win this game. And Allie, thanks. Boy, tough trying to match Turner's intensity. I mean, once he's committed to scoring the ball, you're not stopping him. Lillard can't get it to go. For Indiana, they've gotten half of their attempts to fall in the fourth. Two for four now. And it's healed, missing. Milwaukee in the lead. Middleton looking around. And a miss there on the triple. Indiana shooting about 47%. A nice number. Here's Brown. Rebound by Middleton. Middleton's got his sixth rebound on the night. The feed! The jam! Giannis! Love the read there from Antetokounmpo. I mean, his basketball IQ is really impressive when it comes to alley-oop attempts. Yeah, that one's good. This is when your interior D has to be on high alert. The Bucks have gone three of five since this fourth quarter started. Pass to Antetokounmpo. Beasley for three. That's good. And so Middleton with the assist. Well, that's Beasley's shot right there. He loves to rise and fire and knock him down from behind the arc. Halliburton, the pass to Brown. Now Toppin. Antetokounmpo covering. Beasley against Brown. Here's Toppin. Giannis Antetokounmpo grabs the board. Antetokounmpo's got five rebounds in the game. Here's Beasley. Lays it up and banks it in. And now it's an 11-point Milwaukee lead. Beasley bouncing off the defense there and finding a way to still finish. Making it look effortless. I love great defense. Just quick to establish his feet, and he takes the hit. And not afraid to put his body on the line either. He took a shot for the team in that situation. Brooke Lopez is checked in for Portis. Here's Lillard. It's rebounded by Indiana. Turner's got his fifth rebound in this one. And for Indiana, they're shooting just 38% here in the fourth. Halliburton, the pass to Toppin. Halliburton against Antetokounmpo. Antetokounmpo with the block. No mercy shown that time on D by Giannis. Great rejection. Lillard against Brown. Lillard passes to Antetokounmpo. That one's true. He's now 9 of 10. A commanding performance like that makes for a sweet victory, especially on the road. Lillard against Halliburton. Toppin outside. They need this. Damian Lillard with the rebound. Given his range, you'd expect him to capitalize on that opening. A pretty comfortable win for them in this one. Great effort pays off for the Bucks.
They had to fight for this one. With the game hanging in the balance a couple of times, they made winning plays, Grant. It's all about having a strong mentality. What's interesting is that any time momentum turned against them, instead of folding, they responded with their own attack. And of all the highlights and performances we've seen here tonight, the one thing that stands out is what an unbelievable night it's been for Giannis Antetokounmpo. And I love his composure. He didn't try to do too much or force things, but he was ready to take advantage of every opening the defense gave him. Lillard deciding where to go with it. So this one belongs to the Bucks. Boy, a nice win on the road. By the time this one was winding down, this building was stone cold silent. And that's exactly what you gotta do. You have to try to take the crowd out of it. All right, let's go courtside to Ali LaForce with our player of the game. Ali, it's all yours. Giannis, an impressive performance. Talk about what this game showed you about your team. Oh, this game was great. I think everybody came out ready. Everybody played great. We were moving the ball. We knocked down shots. But most importantly, we were playing great defense. But at the end of the day, it's just a win. We've got to build off this. We've got to go back to the gym, watch film, and get better. It's just one piece of a greater goal. That's right. Thanks, Giannis. Thanks, Ali. Great interview once again. And that'll do it, folks. For Grant Hill, Clark Kellogg, and Ali LaForce, this is Brian Anderson thanking you for watching. We'll see you next time.